You might be in a situation where your Xbox Series X or S controller is not syncing. Now, what does this mean? Well, with the controller, what happens is if you go ahead and turn your you know, controller on sync mode, which is basically by holding down this button and the top share sync button at the very top, your controller should go ahead and actually try repairing or go ahead and allow you to connect to a different controller or a different console. Now, if that doesn't end up working, let's say you hold down these two buttons and nothing seems to be working. Well, what I would recommend doing is going in the back of your controller here and pretty much just unplugging these specific batteries. If you have a charging battery, go ahead and just unplug it too. Wait a few seconds, plug everything back in. And then what you wanna do at that point is you wanna go and slide everything back in just like so. And then you should be able to go ahead and try repairing and resyncing your controller with your console or your PC or whatever you're plugging it into. So go and hold down both these buttons as well. Hold down the sync button, you know, the little button here and that controller should now start syncing properly as of that point. So that's really all you have to do. Now, for some reason, it gets into another situation where it just dies over and over again. You may just wanna check the battery of your specific controller as well. If you have a charging battery, you can go and plug it in, but you can also plug in your controller even if you don't have a charging battery because it's gonna just power it through the wire. So that is another thing I'd recommend doing too. Just go ahead and make sure your specific charging port on the back is properly charged up and making sure it you know, works that way. That may end up being another thing you want to try doing. Now, on top of that, if you're trying to sync this up with like an iPhone, Android, PC, whatever it is, you may just want to make sure that those specific devices are able to, you know, be paired up with a, you know, controller. A lot of them are, but if you're using a really old device, it may not be working. On top of that, you may also want to make sure that your controller, like I said, isn't faulty. If it has some weird issues inside of it, that can also be another issue that you may want to, you know, kind of address and kind of fix in and of itself as well. So... In terms of that, that kind of covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.